I'm going to go back a few years back, 2011 at NWA Mid Atlantic Fan Fest. You worked an R Flair, but instead of Rick, and I heard you talk about Brock Anderson earlier, and you also worked Reed Flair. It, it, I yeah. would love to hear about that. Oh man! So Reed was a uh, me and Reed uh, didn't know each other very long, but we we actually made a lot of road trips together. And yeah. within a, the span of a couple of months, and that kid was so funny. I don't know if you guys ever had the pleasure. But, I, no. Man, yeah. 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 He was so funny, man. Uh, he was just uh, <laughs> like we we took uh, a road trip to West Virginia one time, and uh, he uh, was he was like, "Hey, man, here's you know here's twenty bucks for gas," and mm-hmm. he gave me like twenty dollars cash, whatever, because we were driving my car or whatever. And, yeah. You know, we get up the road a little ways and he goes, Hey man, if we see a fireworks stand, can I have my twenty dollars back? <laughs> and I'm like, What? And he goes, Dude, you can't not stop at a fireworks stand. And I'm like, What? Like it is just so then we ended up stopping off for gas and he actually took the twenty dollars back so he could buy a scratch off lottery ticket and then he won. And so with like I'm just like, dude, you're just tripping me out, man. And then we get a little bit uh we get a little bit further up the road and he says, "Hey man, can you stop at some point? I've got to get some strings for my wrestling uh, my, my wrestling shoes." And I go, "Oh, you mean you, you just need to buy laces for your boots?" And he goes, "Yeah." And I go, "Then why didn't you just fucking say that? Why did you say like strings for my my wrestling strings. shoes?" <laughs> yeah, I'm like what? So, but I'm not. anyways, working with him was fun. Um, you know, he still was. Uh, I mean, he was getting ready to go to Japan and. Uh, you know, he was when he was had his head in the game, man. He was he was a lot of fun to work with, and like, especially when you get to do it at a place like that, like the NWA Fan Fest. Because yeah. there's a lot of older old school fans that do remember his dad, and I mean, I think that one we just it was really easy. I was just like, hey, man, these people are here because I I hate I, I hate it, and it probably made him feel bad. But I was like, the people kind of want to see the greatest hits, right? And. Uh, I feel bad because I don't want you to do all this stuff. if like you wouldn't do it, but you're like, if you just tease the figure four, these people are going to come unglued. Uh, right, and that's, right. uh, you know, that's kind of what we did. I mean, we had, we had a good time just, mm. you know, I miss him. He was funny. He was a funny cat. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't think I ever uh, had the opportunity to be around him. man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just a shame that you never got to see the, and for many reasons, for him passing away, it's a shame. But what I mean is, is it's a shame we never got to see the the fruition of of what could have been. Because you know, obviously Charlotte has kind of gone on to legendary status, and you know, when it comes down to it, I, I feel like that was kind of the path that he was taking. You know. Yeah. Uh, so we met Charlotte uh, when she was. We would train with her a little bit too when she first started, and Reed knew she was going to be good. Mm-hmm. Reed would often make jokes about, well, I'll be carrying your bags here in about 10, 15 years and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> so he knew that she was going to be a, a can't miss prospect and he was proud of her too. You know, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. one more funny story about Reed. We did, we did a show one time somewhere in Virginia and we got stiffed on pay. I mean, it always happens eventually, but, uh, <laughs> we were driving home and, uh, Reed gets a call from dad. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, uh, so I'm kind of like marking out a little bit because I'm yeah. driving. And Reed, yeah. Reed doesn't have his dad on speakerphone, but he's like, nah, yeah, it was a good show, dad, but we didn't make any money. And then you hear Flair on the other end go, what do you mean you didn't make any money? <laughs> he's like, he's like we, we got, you know, we got stiffed on pay. And he goes, what's the guy's name? I'll find him and kill him. <laughs> and then, you hear Reed just got, the, the quote of the night was Reed finally goes, "No, Dad, we didn't get paid. That's why it's called pro wrestling." <laughs> Damn, that's good. So, that was always my favorite Reed quote. Well, so, I'm going to say this: the low key element of what I just figured out from you is you have a pretty good Ric Flair impersonation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dang good. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah. 